What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm just out here in Miami and I was just thinking, you know, what would happen if, you know, by chance you wanted to go on a trip, you get out here, you get all the way here, only to realize the event's been cancelled. What are you supposed to do? Event gets cancelled, event gets postponed, a changed venue, what are you supposed to do? So, Hello, bro. The, yo, how man. are you? Good, man. How are you? You like the place? Yeah, yeah. You like the, the area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great, man. Have a good luck. You too. Thanks, man. My name is Travis here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're going to be talking all about cancelled events, postponed events, and events that change venues. Come along and we shall find out all about it. Alright, first off let's talk about postponed events. So these events basically means the event has been rescheduled to a later date. Sometimes the date has been announced, but other times and most often the new dates have not yet been announced just because they haven't quite figured it out. It could be a scheduling conflict, the artist could be sick, uh, it could just be a whole bunch of different things. Uh, so unfortunately, when these things happen, you are only left with a few, few options. So option one is you bought them from the primary market. So it's like buying from Ticketmaster, AXS, uh, Select a Seat, any of those main primary ticket distribution websites. If you buy it through there, when an event has been postponed, what they usually offer you is the opportunity to just get a refund, get your money back. A lot of times you don't know when the new date's going to be. Even if they do tell you when the new date's going to be, it may or may not work out for your schedule. So it's important that you can go ahead and actually get your money back. No issues, no hassle whatsoever. Go ahead, just request it, you'll get all your funds. Be careful though that they refund you your entire purchase price. A lot of times, especially with Ticketmaster, they are known to actually hold on to certain portions of the fees. Uh, so make sure that you go ahead, double check your credit card statement or wherever you purchase your tickets from. Go ahead, compare the price that you paid to what you were actually refunded. But now, if you are someone who bought it on a secondary resale market though, you got problems. A lot of times these resale websites, they, they will not issue you a refund. What they'll say is, hey, you already bought your tickets, we'll announce you what the new date is when it's known, but unfortunately your ticket purchase is final. No refunds, no exchanges, no nothing. With that being said though, they'll be very nice and say, oh, if you can't attend, you can go ahead, sell your tickets through us. So kind. So if you want your money back, unfortunately it is not possible. The only way to do that is actually go ahead and sell those tickets again to be able to actually get your money back. You may or may not get all your money back. You might get more, might get less. That's all dependent on the market. So unfortunately that's what you're stuck with. All right, so one last point I wanna make about rescheduled or postponed events. Basically if there's a venue change, it is essentially the same thing. So what happened with Justin Bieber recently, he had announced a tour, it was going across and all these stadiums across North America, only to realize that nobody really wanted to go see him. And so because ticket sales are so bad, he actually ended up changing the venues of where his events were taking place. When that happens, it's basically the same idea as if the event was postponed or rescheduled. Uh, same rules basically apply. Tickets themselves from the main box office, they will go ahead and offer you the opportunity to get a refund uh, for your tickets. But on the secondary market, it might be a bit different because now because the venue has changed, the seats that you bought may not actually be the exact same at the new venue. What will normally happen is that any sales that have taken place on secondary markets, generally speaking, they will actually be able to get a full refund for that purchase. Again, because the event is not the same one that you had purchased for and it's not the same type of scene that you're going to get in the new event, it means that the tickets that you bought are no longer essentially valid, they're not in the same section, not in the same location, so you're going to get some new seats. So when there's a venue change, it works similarly to how it would be for an event that is cancelled. But Shiraz might be saying, I got this email that says my event has been suspended, my event's on hold, my event's been postponed, and they're not going to give me my money back. What's going on? So I need to be very clear here. In normal circumstances, normal times, when an event is postponed, Generally speaking, they're gonna let you get your money back. What we're noticing right now though is that a lot of times with a lot of the things that are happening in the world today, everyone's on high alert, no one really knows what's about to happen. Yes, some events that are being postponed, they are offering refunds, uh, but a lot of these events, they just, they just don't know what's gonna happen. So I know with the NAC, they said they are suspending operations for the time being. Uh, there are no refunds being issued at this time. On the other hand, you have events happening at like Mervish in Toronto, where they're saying they're giving you different options, saying we're canceling all these different events, and so we're gonna be able to issue your money back. Other places they're saying, oh, we're just gonna be on hold. NBA, NHL, those leagues, they're on suspension right now for at least you know a couple of weeks, maybe a month or more. MLB, same thing, they pushed back the start of the MLB season. Nobody quite knows what the schedule is going to look like, so we can't go ahead and start issuing refunds just yet because nobody knows what events are actually going to still happen, what events aren't going to happen, no one knows when they're going to happen. It's it's a lot of logistical issues, so everyone's just kind of like in that Ugh, holding period, waiting period, not quite sure what's going on. However, with all that being said, when an event is officially cancelled, that is when the money starts rolling back. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. When an event is canceled, it means yes, you will be able to go ahead back to the box office where you buy your tickets from, go ahead, request that refund, get all your money back. Fantastic, excellent, wonderful, no questions asked. The event is no longer happening, therefore why would you pay for something that does not exist? Exactly. Last thing I want to talk about, a lot of secondary markets, there's a few different things that are going on there for, especially for postponed and events that are kind of like on hold and suspension, no one really knows, in limbo essentially, no one knows what's happening with them. Some resale websites, they're not offering you a refund immediately for these tickets. But they're saying, hey, some events, there are you know issues going on. Once an event is officially canceled, they're offering you two options. One, you can go ahead, actually request that cancellation, get all your money back, no questions asked, all is good, fine and dandy. Other option though, is that they're actually offering you 120, 125% credit back instead of cash. They're saying, hey, we know you want to go to this event, but because it's not happening anymore and you still want to go to a event in the future, maybe it makes sense for you to go ahead, hit the cancel button, leave your money with us, and then we'll give you a nice little bonus for your next event. You can go ahead and actually use that money, you know, some free tickets essentially. With that being said, sometimes it is nice to get that little bump back to your credit card or wherever you made that purchase through. So again, it's all up to you. Everyone is a bit different. Every situation is unique. So again, you gotta figure out what works best for you. Other resale websites may or may not be doing something similar. So again, make sure you read the fine print, the terms and conditions. There are a lot of disclaimers that are happening at the top of websites talking about what to do during this situation. So again, pay very close attention, see what your options are. Again, there are a lot of things going on here, a lot of questions that might be coming up in your mind. So if you have any definitely reach out to me, leave them in the comments below, I'll get back to all of you. I wanna make sure that all of you have the answers you need. Uh, a lot of times it can be very, very difficult to get the information you want. So I will go ahead and do the research for you, make sure you get everything answered for you. That's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Eh. See you guys next time.